If you happen to live in a home that doesn't have ductwork and has never had AC before, and you are wondering if it's possible to add air conditioning to your home, and if so, how do you do it, then you've come to the right place because in this video, we're going to tackle just that. And the short answer is yes, it is absolutely 100% possible to add air conditioning in a home without ductwork. And in this video, we're going to go through a couple of options that you have available to choose from. And at the end of this video, there'll be a link to another video about adding air conditioning to a home that has ductwork, but might have never had air conditioning before. So make sure you check that video out next, because if you're trying to add air conditioning to a home, it's definitely possible and we do it all the time, but there's a few considerations you you want to make sure that you're aware of beforehand. And even though that video is catered to a home that has existing ductwork, there's still relevance for homes without ductwork because a lot of the similar infrastructure will need to be accounted for. And if you're tuning into the channel for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the latest in HVAC trends so you can get the best HVAC for your home. And let us know what you think in the comment section below. We want to make sure this content is helpful and answers your questions, and we do read the comments. Now, this is a very common question that we get asked asked by homeowners in Colorado because believe it or not, there's still a lot of homes out here that still don't have any air conditioning. Now, when you tell someone from Texas or Phoenix that you don't have air conditioning, they will look at you like you're off your medication because life without air conditioning doesn't sound fathomable. And I would have to agree with them. But the good news is there's a lot of options, including adding an inducted system, which we will talk about later in this video. Now, the most common type of system for a home with no ductwork is a ductless mini split. And the reason is obvious, and that is that they work without ductwork. Now, when you think of a ductless mini split, you are probably thinking of the traditional head units that mount on the wall, but there's actually a few different types of mini splits available, some of which don't involve a head unit on the wall, and some can actually be ductless systems as well. The most common comment we get from people when we bring up mini splits or ductless systems is that they initially object to the thought of having a head unit on the wall. And that is because aesthetically it is just not very appealing. But the truth is that after a couple weeks, you probably won't even notice it. However, we do point out another option like a cassette and they are usually intrigued and didn't even know that cassettes were an option in that might be you as well. Now, there's a couple types of cassettes available. There's four-way cassettes and there's also one-way cassettes. The benefits of both cassettes versus a traditional wall unit is that these are mounted in the ceiling and flush mounted and therefore they don't take up any space in the room. And a lot of people prefer the aesthetic of cassettes compared to wall mount units for obvious reasons. And in my opinion, I prefer the aesthetic of these types of units as well. Now let's talk about the difference between the two cassettes. The biggest difference is actually going to be something that comes into play with the design consideration. And that is the dimension of your joist base spacing. Now a square cassette typically fits inside of trusses that are 24 inch on center. However, if your joists are spaced tighter, then a one-way cassette can typically fit in between studs that are 16 or 18 inches on center, depending on the brand. Again, this is going to vary by brand and typically Mitsubishi's one-way cassettes have the smallest footprints compared to any other brands. So if you have a very tight joist space spacing, Mitsubishi is probably going to be your best bet. Now, I personally like cassettes because of the aesthetic and the fact that they don't have a footprint in the room, but ductless systems in general do a wonderful job cooling. And if we ever have a customer that has very demanding cooling needs, meaning they like it very cold, or if the master happens to be on the top floor and it's very hot upstairs, for example, then cassettes and ductless options in general provide a superior level of comfort because of the fact that you're able to specifically target the area of the home that you want to air condition. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that most multi-port mini split options are also heat pumps and typically rated to perform well in cold weather. This can make them an excellent source of backup heat for someone whose primary source of heat might be a boiler, for example. In fact, for our technicians in Colorado, the most common application of a ductless mini split is in homes that have boilers because they don't have ductwork. Now, one of the units I wanna talk about that is a great option for someone that may be set on a ducted system but doesn't quite have a space is a slim duct unit. Now, a slim ducted unit is a self-contained air handler and coil that have a very low profile and can fit into tight spaces. These can then be connected to a handful of ducts that serves one or two rooms and gives you the best of both worlds. Now, these work well in tighter spaces, attic spaces or closets, for example. And if you're only looking to heat or cool a certain section of your home, then this is a great way 
to get a ducted system without having to find space for a supply and return trunk line and putting in a larger air handler. Now, keep in mind, this will still require duct work, but you can typically run flex duct off of a supply box and return box, which can keep the installation costs down and also increase comfort compared to a hard pipe steel duct work. Now, depending on which contractor you talk to, they may disagree with me, but I almost always prefer flex duct over hard pipe for one reason alone, and that is sound. As much as I'd like to think that one day you'll crawl into the attic or crawl space and admire the duct work that I installed, I know in actuality, you'll never see it, which is why I prefer flex duct because it's actually quieter. There are definitely ways to to quiet down hard pipe duct work, but they call it quiet flex for a reason, and that's because it will always be a much quieter option. And since noise is the number one comfort complaint we get from customers, this is why we will always prefer to put in flex duct when possible. The downside of flex duct is that if you have a rodent problem, rodents can chew through flex duct work, whereas they won't do that with uh, standard steel hard pipe, obviously, because they're not going to chew through steel. Now, if that's what you tuned in for and wanted to know, is it possible to add ductwork in a home that doesn't have ductwork? We will talk about that now. Now, the short answer is obviously yes, you can add ductwork, but it depends on the layout of the house and your plans for the house. The easiest scenario for adding ductwork in a finished home with a finished basement or no basement is having an attic big enough to run ductwork. Now, you don't just need an attic big enough for the duct itself. Remember, you need an attic that's big enough for the human that's installing your ductwork as well to be able to move around. And typically, the tighter and smaller the crawl space or attic, the more expensive the job will be because the working conditions will be much more difficult and therefore it will take longer to install and be much more cumbersome. But the best case scenario for adding a ducted system to a home that's never had ductwork is typically going to involve putting that system in the attic. This is especially true on single level ranch homes with sprawled out floor plans that are all connected under the same roof for obvious reasons. But what about a typical home that might be multiple stories? What do you do in that scenario? Obviously, if you are remodeling your house, you can run ductwork inside the house and have carpenters and drywallers build a soffit around your ductwork after the HVAC guys are finished installing it, but this involves cutting a lot of holes in a lot of walls and a lot of ceilings and a lot of floors. And typically this is only going to be something you're doing if you are gutting your house down to the studs, which is not something that most people are doing and is not the most practical. Now there's a few other variations of ductless systems that you can add that are much less common. So we will touch on those in a separate video. So let us know if you still have questions by posting a comment in the comment section below. And if you found this content helpful, please make sure you smash that like button. And if you didn't find it helpful, you can smash the dislike button too. That's okay. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service, like Denver Metro or Colorado Springs, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. We come out for free for all first-time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance, or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement. And there's a link actually in the description below where you can schedule online at your convenience, as well as an up-to-date list of the cities and states that we service. So you can stay up to date when we start servicing your Metro. And as promised earlier right now, there's a video popping up on the screen about some of the installation considerations in adding air conditioning in a home that has never had it. Now, that video is geared towards homes that have existing ductwork, so it may or may not apply to your specific situation. But if you are adding air conditioning and don't have it, a lot of the considerations will still be the same. So there's definitely some overlap in that video. And it's potentially worth checking out if that describes what you're looking to do.